This is too many other wins for us, baby. Amen. You know, I couldn't have been able to do all that I have done without your help. Is that so? <laughs> yes, only a man who has gotten a beautiful and a strong woman by his side can achieve all these things that I have achieved with ease. Really? Yes, I'm telling you, it's easy to win when you have gotten support from your spouse. Okay, okay. This contract I've gotten, I'm dedicating it to you, your prayers and your love towards me. Baby. I wish this house is filled with a lot of people now, so I can blow a trumpet in their front. <laughs> no, no, I told you, baby. I know, we shouldn't blow our trumpet too loud for others to see. Yeah, exactly. I know that, and if you notice that, that's why I follow your advice and kept the celebration look just between family. Yes. So tell me, what do you want me to do for you? You've done so much for me already, Stanley. No, I haven't. Tell me what you want, Ada. What should I do? I don't know yet, but for now, why don't you focus on finishing the project first? The project will be finished. It will be completed very, very soon. That's not an issue, trust me. So tell me, what do you want, Ada? Oh God, my head is still aching really bad and I've already taken medication. Why does this headache keep coming back? Why? What is wrong with me? Why do I feel this weak? Why is even my phone? Gabriel, I've not even done any stressful work and look at how I'm feeling. Ha! Huh? Hello, mommy. Son, how are you? I'm fine, mommy. Why are you sounding this way? Is everything okay with you? I'm not fine, son. I'm not okay. I'm feeling so, so weak. You're not stressing yourself, right, mom? No, I'm not doing that. See, I've been having a headache and it won't just go away. I'm with Dr. Jojo now. Okay, give him the phone. Let's talk then. Maybe I can explain myself to him. Okay. Anything I want, right? Yes, my love. I want us to try for a child again. Ada? I want another IVF, babe. Please. No, 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 no. Anything but that. You said anything I want. I want a child of my own. That's what I want here, Stanley. Please, I beg of you. God is the giver of children, not men. And you know this as much as I do. I know that, but I want to do this again. I don't want us to do it again. You don't want us to have children of our own, do you? I didn't say so. Look at Gabriel's. We got married at the same time. You have started again, Ada. See, let's not ruin the beautiful moments we have here. They have a son. They've got Jesse. I've got none. Not even one. How do you think that makes me feel? I know you are not happy about it, but what can we do about it? Let's have a child of our own. An IVF. We had over 20 IVF procedures. I'm done, I told you. I don't care if we have a hundred. So fact, I have to hold my own child with my own hands. Ara, please, I don't want us to fight, okay? This is what I want from you. Put yourself together. That should be mom. You invited her? Yes, I did. And I told you about it, didn't I? Remember? Why didn't you prescribe her any medication? I can't do that, man. You know your mom is not an old woman. So? With all the whole complaints she gave, you have to bring her here for physical examination. That's it. You think something bigger is the problem? I don't know yet. That's why I didn't say anything on the phone. Okay. You go and see her, right? Yes, I will head over there now. That's what I will just do. Okay. Maybe you can get a hospital nearby and have them check her. That's if you don't want to bring her over here. Okay. Off you go, man. Bye. Mommy. Yes, son. I want to go and get lunch to eat. Okay. Do you have money with you or? I don't have money on me, mom. Jesse. I'm fine, auntie. How about you? Look at my cutie pie. How are you doing, darling? I've started growing a beer. I noticed it the other time. I came here. You look just like me. I know. I got my good looks from you and my dad, mom. The money. You want to go and get something? Yes, I'm feeling hungry. Here, have this. Thank you, auntie. You and Jesse. Are you jealous about the two of us or what? Me? Jealous? No, no. I am definitely not jealous of you two. You both can keep the whole love stuff between you two. And this whole resemblance stuff. How do you two look alike? Can't you see it for our face? Which face? You this my friend, you're funny. Really, really funny. <laughs> How are you doing? How is everything? Welcome, Mom. Thank you. Mom, good afternoon, Ma. Uh, good afternoon. Mom, I've been expecting you since. I had to do other things before coming over. How was your trip? It was good. I think I need to move back to Lagos. Okay. 
I need to come back here so I can be closer to you. And Ada, where is my food? My water. Hope she's not pregnant with my grandchild. Mom. Tell me she is pregnant, son. Son. Mommy. What's your mom? Good afternoon, son. How are you? I'm fine, mom. Are you? Look at me, son. Do I look fine? You look fine to me. Very, very okay. I'm not fine. What did you just say is wrong with me? He didn't say anything to me, mom. He said he prefers us to have a physical examination. That means something bad is happening to me. Of course not, mom. Then why couldn't he say anything to you? Why didn't he say something? Mom, I don't know. Am I dying anytime soon? Is it that? Of course not, mom. You're not going to die anytime soon. You will live long. Then why didn't he tell you what's wrong with me? Mommy. This headache won't just go away. It keeps coming over and over again. So why is everything going? Everything is going fine. That's great to hear. So why is it going with him? Not so bad. Give me something more than that. Come on. He's cool and all that, but I'm not yet sure if he's the one for me. You have started yet again. I'm serious here. You know some people can be too good to be real. I don't know why you won't just accept that luck has fallen on you. You've got a great man. No one is that great. We both know that. Yeah, life has got its eye and low. But that doesn't mean there aren't good people out there. What about? You should get married, babe. See, we are no longer young ladies like we used to be then. I'm still in my thirties, darling. You should get married, babe. See, we are no longer young ladies like we used to be back then. Do I look 40? <laughs> Baby, I am young and so, so young. You will soon cross that benchmark of 40. I won't rush to get married and you know, Jess is definitely going to marry my daughter. Just get married and you know, give me my beautiful princesses. I've gotten to name already. <laughs> yes, ma. Just open your heart and get to know this guy you know. Mom, come on. She's not pregnant. Is that what you are telling me? Mom, she isn't the one who makes children. It's God. Eh, uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Mom, please. Why are you begging me? Why did you now ask me to come here to Lagos? Take your food away. I I don't understand, Ma. Where's my grandchild? Where are my grandbabies? Mommy, they, the the children are here already, Ma. You are pregnant. No, Ma. Then why are you telling me the children are already here? Where are they? I was saying it in faith, ma. Can you hear your wife, Stanley? Can you hear what she's saying? Mom, please. Why don't you eat first? Take the food away. I am not interested in the food. I want children. Take the food away. Take it away. Mommy, please eat the food. Where is my ring? Mommy, you're not going to die. Anyone that says that I will not reap the fruit of my labor, that's the person that will die. Amen. I suffered to train your children. I did it all by myself. No help from anyone. And not one stupid headache wants to come and find its way into my life. Mom, nothing will happen to you. That's why I'm even here to take you to the hospital. I don't like hospitals. No, no. Come on, mommy. You know we both need to be sure that this is just a headache. Please. It's nothing really. See, you didn't even have to come over here. I don't even know why I had called you on the phone. I'm fine. I know it's because of the hospital. You are saying this, mom. I'm not going to the hospital. Which hospital do you want to even take me to here? The usual one, mom. All the good doctors in that hospital have left already. How about Jojo's hospital? So he would come and say something big is wrong with me. I'm not interested in that. No, no. Stop crying, darling. Don't say anything to me. I'm sorry, baby. I'm truly sorry. Believe me. You brought your mom to come and talk me down, right? I didn't do that, Ada. You know. Am I the one who makes children? You're not the one. Am I the one? Do you think I don't want children of my own? Ada. When you married me, didn't you marry me as a virgin? I did. See, I don't put the blame on you for all this. Because I don't know. I don't just know. I'm even confused right now about everything happening in my life. I am so fed up about it all. I'm just so fed up. Ada. IVF. You still want us to do this? Yes, I do. IVF. Let's do this, please. Stanley, please. No, we couldn't do this. I mean it. I'm done seeing you get disappointed about the result when it doesn't work out. Really? We will have our own children. Easy for you to say when you're not the one going through all this. 
Welcome home, mom. My son's house. Look at how hair is looking different in my eyes. It is still the same, mom. No, it's not the same. You people have changed the television. Mommy. The old one wasn't this big. Maybe you're right, mom. And I know it's your wife that said you should change it. I was the one who chose to change it. The old one was faulty. And what did you now do to it as it's faulty? I sold it and then added the money to buy this one. You aren't a good liar. You, my son, where is your life and my darling grandson? I don't think she's back from work. She's not back from work at this time of the night? Mommy, it's not yet night. Just to seven. She will soon be home. It is almost 7 p.m. and you are saying this. That your wife can be outside up until this time? When will she get home and cook? Mommy, don't worry about that. Or are you the one that's cooking in this house? Mommy, let me take your bag inside. Okay. Granny. I'm also going through this. You're not, Stanley. You're not. I am. You think waiting for all these years hasn't gotten to me? So it's gotten to you? It has gotten to me thinking at times, but... Not everyone is destined to have a children, Ada. Stanley. I am very serious here. Eh? I would do hard of people who never had kids. You will be happy without children. Is that what you're saying? I will be happy if we both stop warning about having kids, Ada. I love you. Children or no children. I need to go clear my head. Where are you going? Anywhere else but here. Ada. 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 Mommy, I didn't even know you were coming. If you knew you would have come home early, right? I would have, ma. My grandson is looking lean. He's not been eating well. Mommy, he's the one that eats up all the food in this house. He's the one always eating. Is that so? Yes, Granny. Don't worry, now that I'm here, I'll be giving you a large portion of food. Let me go and quickly make you something to eat, ma. Nothing less than pounded yam. Pounded yam? Yes. We don't have yams at all, ma. That's what I want to eat, Lara. Pounded yam and draw soup. Mommy. You really want pounded yam? And you didn't tell me since, mom. Wait, what do you want to cook for me? Rice or what? I want to make you swallow, ma, but the pounded yam now. You and your husband should go and talk about that. That's what I want. Yes, ma. When was the last time you ate pounded yam, son? I don't like pounded yam, grandma. That is doesn't like it too. You don't like pounded yam, son. Is that so? Ada will be. Joy, I am tired. Please stop crying. Sit down first, okay? Should I go and get you some water to take? I am not tasty. I'm just fed up about everything. Don't be fed up. I don't know what happened, but whatever it may be, it will pass. Joy, it's been many years now. I don't even have a fruit of my own. Ada, you're back to this again. I am back to it, Joy. It's been how many years now? 14 years. Ada, see, you're not the maker of children. God is the one who answers us on children. Even one child I don't have, not even a single miscarriage. I know it's really painful, but don't hurt yourself. You're not the first lady in the world that this is happening to. Why must I be among those that have to go through this? Why me? Life and its mysteries. We can't answer some questions. Actually, a lot of questions will forever remain unanswered. My love. What's the meaning of this? Of what? Is it the yam stuff? Your mom here, he didn't tell me she's coming. It was impromptu. Impromptu? Really? She came over by herself? Why are you sounding this way? Why? You should have told me that your mom is coming over. I told you it was impromptu. Okay. Yeah, and you don't have to get mad about it. I don't like your tone. You didn't tell me she's coming, so how do you want me to react? Do I need to take permission from you before bringing my mother over? So I can just bring my family members as well. If your mom isn't too healthy and she calls you, won't you take action to do what's necessary? Or you first be thinking of informing your husband about it? She's sick. I don't care how you do it, but just make the pounded yam. Your mom is sick. There's yam in the kitchen. Make the pounded yam. Me and my big mouth, baby. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. We can't keep having an IVF procedures. No, no. Why can't we be happy without children? Ah, woman and children. Where is she? Mom, I was about to come to your room. I want to take tea. I will give you anything you want, Mom. Please, can we just talk for a moment? Please. Okay. What is it? 
Mom, I don't like the way things are between you and my wife. Son, forget about this conversation, please. Mom, I called you over here to share with you some good news. That's why I called you here, Mom. What good news? I got the contract I told you to pray for me about. Are you serious, son? You got it? Yes, Mom, I got it. And that's why I wanted you to come so we can celebrate together, Mom. This is great, son. Oh, thank God for answered prayers. Exactly, Mom. Thank you for your prayers. I bet as you have made this money now, you want to be giving it to her, right? Mom, this is exactly what I was talking about. I am saying something important here. Mom, I don't want all of these fights. I want peace here. Please. I don't deserve what's happening to me, Joy. I know. I kept myself. I did everything that's expected of a good girl. I was upright. Now why all this? What is this happening to me? Stop crying, Ada, please, okay? <laughs> children. Children are the blessings of marriage. I agree, and you will have yours in no time. How sure are you? I'm even telling Stanley that we should try this IVF again, but he's against it. We both know how you can be if it fails. Yes, I would be unhappy. But why can't we try it one more time? Ada. One more time. See, I don't even know who to turn to right now. I am here for you. And to make matter worse, Stanley's mom is around. She's around? Yes, she's at home, Joy. And she's the reason I'm feeling all this way. I'm totally unhappy. <laughs> God, just one child. That's all I'm asking for. Please. I am sorry. I've heard you. I can't pound. You know what happened to my hand. Just pound me, I'm Lara. See, I'm tired like this. You are still angry. I'm not angry. I didn't know your mom was sick. And it's not like I don't even want her hair, but... I've heard you. Is there anything else to say? What is wrong with her? We have not gone to the hospital yet, but we'll go there tomorrow. I'm sorry. I've heard you. Nothing like sickness would be found in her body. I'm sure it's going to be something minor. I hope so too. You won't talk to her, babe. Let her eat some more, please. No, no, not this time around. Go and make the bad and the arm. I am also interested in it. I can't remember the last time I had even eaten it in this house. All I want is a grandchild of my own. You will have a grandchild son. When? Is it when I am old and can't work again? Is it until then? Mom. See, I know you love Adobe, but maybe it's time for you to step out. No, Mom. Don't say that again. It's for your own good, son. I think you are done with this conversation. Don't disturb my wife, please. You are wife. The one who can't give me grandkids. I shouldn't disturb her, right? Mom. Imagine. You have just one child, and you have been waiting for that child to give you grandkids. But the child doesn't. After 14 years, how would you react? How? Look at my friends with their grandchildren, all coming over to visit them. But I don't even have one. Mom! Mom, please stop crying. Please, Mom. So this is where you sleep. My love, wake up. Is this morning already? Yes, it's morning. I didn't even know you were in the house all along. Yeah. Baby, should have come to our room and waited and waited for you. Did you sleep in the room last night or at your mom's place? My mom's place? I don't understand. When I got home last night, I checked the room and you weren't there. I was talking with my mom. I know, and it seems like it was a long conversation because I waited and waited. I came back to our room after we talked. Has she left already? She's still around. When did she come that she leave already? Okay. Baby, wait. I am in the worst state, Darwin. What happened? Didn't you get my message? You sent me a message. Here's my phone. So you didn't get my message, really? I was too busy to even press my phone. That means you've been having a great time with your mom. I'm happy for you. Your mother Ola is around. Yes, yeah, she is around. You didn't tell me she was coming around. I didn't know she was coming around. I just got home and saw her day. Really? Yeah. And what did you tell Gabriel? What kind of thing is this? I got mad, but he kind of backfired on me. In what way? He got angry with me for how I had reacted towards everything. How did he expect you to react? Just how? 